Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is a perfume review of the newest release from the House of Theodoro Scalutinis. It's a gourmand aromatic fragrance and it focuses on the note of chocolate. This one is called Velvet Chocolate and it comes in the Eau de Parfum concentration. This is a 50 ml bottle and it goes for 45 euros. So when I went on Instagram one day, um, I, which I rarely do, I rarely visit Instagram, and when I saw this posted on their Instagram page, I got super excited and I decided to get my hands on a full bottle right away. I just knew right away that I would love velvet chocolate and based on the name I just kind of had an idea what kind of fragrance this would be and based on the photos that they posted on their Instagram it showed notes like cocoa and vanilla and tonka bean. Velvet chocolate is a unisex fragrance and it's supposed to feel like you know it melting in your skin just the way that chocolate melts in your mouth when you eat it so let us go over the notes this one has four notes listed it has vanilla chocolate cacao and tonka bean like i said i just kind of guessed that this one would be focusing more on chocolate and tonka bean this is super rich it's dense it's true to you know the name it's a very photo realistic chocolate scent so if you guys are a fan of those true gourmand like really edible fragrances this is that kind of scent so upon first sniff i immediately get chocolate so it's a milk chocolate kind of scent if you guys are familiar with wicked good by gallagher fragrances this one i always describe this one as a milk chocolate scent it's soft it's creamy it's lactonic but it it has a powdery quality to it as well it's more or less the same in terms of the chocolate note or the chocolate accord in velvet chocolate velvet chocolate in the entrance focuses on that creamy lactonic quality of chocolate but it's not really a very sweet type of chocolate because for me when i smell it i immediately get something dark like 65 percent or 75 percent dark chocolate and i also love that this one combines two different kinds of chocolate notes so this one has both chocolate and cacao chocolate is obviously the processed version of cacao or cocoa beans so having notes like chocolate and cacao there are two different kinds of scent profiles chocolate is creamy it's milky and when you smell it you immediately imagine like a chocolate bar or a chocolate praline or chocolate truffle and that's what i get in this one but this is paired with cacao cacao as a scent profile is a little bit earthy it's more powdery it's bitter so chocolate has that milk added to it that cream added to it but cacao is that raw version of the chocolate so just imagine smelling a chocolate bar and then smelling cocoa powder for baking but what i really love about this fragrance is that addition of the aromatic tonka bean so vanilla and tonka bean they always go together vanilla adds that sweetness it can also be a little bit earthy it depends on the kind of vanilla i love the kind of vanilla that Theodoro Scalotinus uses in his fragrances but adding tonka bean in here just adds a different kind of level in terms of scent profile so it's not just a very boring sweet scent it's not the boring chocolate scent because tonka bean adds that aromatic oomph to the fragrance it's a tonka bean in here that gives that velvety texture to the whole scent and it's the one that gives a smoky kind of earthy as I said aromatic um, property to the scent as well so it's not a boring scent because if you just imagine like a chocolate scent if it's just milk chocolate and vanilla yes it's delicious but it can be very fleeting and it's notes like tonka bean that makes this fragrance last longer and makes the chocolate and cacao a little bit more delicious as it dries down so as this one is drying down as in the middle of the scent you still get a ton of chocolate but then it becomes more focused on cocoa powder so as a whole scent profile in the beginning this is more of like milk chocolate your chocolate bars and then it develops into something that smells like you know like 
um, fudge brownie batter. So it's a little bit, it's more raw in terms of, you know, the scent profile when it comes to chocolate. It's more focused on cacao. It becomes a little bit more powdery, which blends perfectly when tonka bean starts to bloom in the base because it's powdery, it's a little bit smoky, and, you know, it just, it's a denser, deeper kind of a scent profile. And this one is, is delicious. So if I can just simply describe to you guys how this one smells like just imagine you know brownies it's fudge brownies either your brownie batter or your cooked brownies or like when you're baking brownies in the oven and you can just smell you have that whiff of beautiful magic deliciousness in the air this is how this one smells like i had this one for a number of days now i've been testing it this one is a long lasting fragrance but let's just i just want to talk about projection first because this you guys just you know it projects it's a very wide projecting fragrance when you spray it on your skin it just envelops you in all of that chocolate goodness and um it can be overpowering so you don't need to spray a lot this can go a long way and if you are someone who doesn't really want to wear your fragrances very strong then you know use this one sparingly but in terms of you know the kind of person that would love this fragrance it's a person that's very cheerful that loves truly edible gourmand fragrances so we can have different kinds of gourmand fragrances like for example if i can compare velvet chocolate as a chocolate scent compare it to wicked good this one is yes it has chocolate it has a gorgeous tonka bean in it as well but it has um like a woody kind of dry down it doesn't have wood solicit in the base but this one is more of a woody dry down they have very similar notes actually this one has chocolate madagascar vanilla and tonka bean but this one has a woody base so it's not really just chocolate but this one like i said it starts off like a bar of chocolate and then it develops to fudgy brownies fudgy brownie batter and then it becomes that cooked brownie in the end if you love really sweet scents and this one works really well because it projects really wide it envelops you in the chocolate cloud and you know people can really smell you especially during the first 30 minutes to an hour of wear i when i first got this i sprayed this on my hand and it's the only thing that i could smell i was testing other fragrances but this one just you know it was just calling my name that development is exactly how you know chocolate melts in your mouth you know it's an entire experience you eat the chocolate you smell it it melts in your mouth it you it makes you really happy that's how this one is you spray it you experience it it blends with your skin chemistry it softens it dries down and it just makes you a really really happy person cheerful person that's super sexy now let us talk about versatility wearability or the seasons when you can wear this fragrance right now it's winter time so this is a perfect fall and winter scent if i compare it to coffee addict for example i've had this one for a while now in my collection and have been wearing it so i've worn this also during spring and summer so it can be a stronger scent it can be suffocating it can be cloying because it's a true gourmand scent and i think it would be the same with velvet chocolate so it depends so i don't know how this one would project during spring and and summer during warmer weather i will let you guys know as i have this as i try it more. but i just imagine this one being more powdery being more focused on tonka bean during warmer season so in summary velvet chocolate is a sweet chocolate vanilla aromatic kind of a fragrance it's a true gourmand scent this is a great addition to your collection but like i said if you prefer gourmand fragrances that have other accords like woody accords floral accords then this one isn't that kind of fragrance because it is straightforward it's chocolate, tonka bean, vanilla, and cacao. It's a cozy fall and winter scent performs really well. You can use it to layer with your other fragrances if you're into layering. A great performing fragrance projects really well, wide projecting during the first hour of wear, and it stays closer to the skin as you wear it, but it lasts super long. It can last you half a day or even more than that. It depends on how much you spray, where you spray it. If you want to try um, like a chocolate fragrance that's more on the affordable side i highly suggest you guys to try this one again like i said you can use it to layer you can use it alone in itself you can use it you know together with your lotion you can do a lot of things with it and it only costs 45 euros so compared to other chocolate fragrances from niche brands niche fragrance houses this is a, a very affordable choice so for those gourmand lovers lovers of sweet scents lovers of velvety 
black tonic fragrances then i highly suggest you guys to try this one i'm very very happy with this purchase and i know this is a fragrance that i'll be giving a lot of wear so this is a velvet chocolate from the house of theodoros kalutinis that is it for today's video you guys thank you for sharing a bit of your time with me as i shared my thoughts on velvet chocolate and watch out for my next video because i will be talking about other chocolate fragrances that i have in my collection like I always say in every single video, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.